Hello friends, welcome to Art by Sparkle and Nate's Art Lab collaboration for March. Our special guest today is Sarah Mack from Sarah Mack Art. And in honor of her, we are going to do a ninja swipe. You got it. So I want to show you something. <laughs> I think you might get a kick out of it. But first, I am wearing Sarah's old sweater that she put up for auction. I, I was so excited to get it. And she put the S on here, which ironically enough stands for Sarah and Sparkle. So I've had a lot of fun wearing it, especially um, in my studio when it's really cold and I don't have the heater going. So um, still looks pretty good, you know, I've got the sleeves all rolled up. But anyway, I haven't totally covered it in paint, but there are days. Thanks again, Sarah. Such great memories every time I put it on. All right, so just a little clip to show you first and then we will get started. Well, it took me five times longer to set up the surroundings for this video. If any of you were at the first Fluid Art Boutique and uh, took Sarah's Ninja Swipe class, you will know that I flinged paint totally across the room. So I didn't want to take that chance because I'm in my dining room, which has a bigger table. I painted the background a gray blue by Amsterdam. I did add some iridescent pearl medium, which I'm not really sure showed up all that much. Um, what I did forget, however, as you will figure out pretty soon, I forgot to put the clear <laughs> on top of the dried base. And I do believe that would have helped quite a bit. But live and learn.
in retrospect, I kind of wish I hadn't blended that bottom part, but you know what? That's okay. I may go back and just paint that bottom part with that pearl gray. What do you think? Okay, I think I've stopped laughing hard enough. Uh, <laughs> I tell you what, this is a lot harder than it, than it looks, clearly. And I know one of the mistakes I made, I was going to put a clear over the dried uh, color, and that would have helped, you know, I think, with those paints going. And I just sort of forgot about that. Anyway, I'm just, so I, that's why the colors started making, um, they started seeping into this dried base and making circles. So that's why I just went and blended that all out for whatever reason. Anyway, I like the colors. I used all Color Art Prism Pour paints mixed with the polypore and a little bit of their um, their acrylic fluid and just a slight bit of GAC and <clears throat> a couple of the pigments I used and I really like the depth of their colors. Um, a little hard to see right now but they do glisten and I really like that about those colors. 
So anyway, here is a quick close up. <laughs> oh goodness. And like a dear friend of mine says quite often, so what have we learned today? Well, uh, it's hard. <laughs> and you know what? I really didn't even fling the paint all day. You know what? It is what it is. And it was fun. I will definitely try it again, maybe on a smaller scale. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. I really did have a good time. Y'all take care and I'll see you next time for a little more fun and frivolity. Please make sure that you watch the other videos and um, subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. And we'll be back next month as Nate's Art Collaboration. Bye-bye.